Hi, this is Oscar. Welcome to another Know How with ServiceNow. In this episode, you will learn how easy it is to automate data import from a CSV file or an Excel file coming from a share folder within the internet with the help of a mid server. The process is very simple. First, we need to set an output instruction in the ECC queue for the mid server to execute a PowerShell script. As a second step, the mid server awaits for new instructions coming from the instance. And then once it pulls the output instruction to run the PowerShell, on the step three, the mid server itself is going to execute the PowerShell script. This PowerShell script contains code to leverage the REST API from ServiceNow in order to upload the CSV or Excel file to the data source within the platform in ServiceNow. Now let's talk about on the things we need. And the first thing we need is a service account. We call it integration and we assign the role for the import admin. Now we need to open our flow designer and create a new custom action. We're gonna call it execute PowerShell script. The input is gonna be the PowerShell name, the name of the script, and this is going to be mandatory. Then we're going to add a script step and we're gonna pass the parameter for the PS name in the variable ps name for the input of this given script and the script is nothing but a script that is creating a record in the ecc queue first we are looking for the mid server which capability has the powershell or all and we're looking for that mid server that is actually up and running in the instance then we get uh, that mid server sysid or agent name and then we actually create a record in ECCQ where we initialize with the mid server name we are going to run a command the name is going to be powershell and the file path of that given powershell script we need to run this is a this is an output instruction in the ECC queue. It's going to be in, in, in ready state. Uh, we're just putting the source as PowerShell and we're giving the payload as a skip sensor. So we don't need actually anything back coming from the mid server once the script is run. Now we need to create a new flow in the flow designer and we can set the schedule when we want this flow to be executed so let's say that 6 p.m on a daily basis we want to import data for this given case we're going to import users okay so we want to run it on a 6 p.m on a daily basis and then we add our execute powershell script custom action where uh, we just pass the name of the PowerShell script in the mid server, and I'm going to show you that in a minute. But actually, this PowerShell script is, is located in a shell folder within the mid server host. It's uh, basically a Windows machine. This is the data source where the file is going to be uploaded once the PowerShell script runs in the mid server. It is time to, look, to take a look on the PowerShell script. This is the file upload PowerShell script that uh, of course we need to pass a user and the password. It actually is going to create a base64 string of the file that we need to upload. We need to set some headers, some property on the headers and then we specify the endpoint URI. So this is exactly this is exactly the 
uh, endpoint of the uh, REST API for the attachment table and with the data source, and this is the idea of that data source in the name of the file we want to attach. Um, this is where it is located. This is the file located under report new users. It's, a, it's an Excel file. And then through the post method, that's how we're going to upload and attach um, the file in the data source. Then we just need to send an HTTP request invoking the web request uh, with all the parameters. And then we can have um, a response. So here, what, what I have is the PowerShell script ready to run. What I'm gonna do here is to run it. Then it will connect and it will give me a result in JSON format that the file was pushed and uh, attached in the data source. If we get back to the data source and then we refresh or reload the form, then we can see that um, the Excel file has been attached successfully in the data source. Now, considering that uh, this particular flow is executing the PowerShell, then the PowerShell uploads the file in and attach it to the data source. You may want to run that particular or this particular data source, right? So here, this is something that um, I would not showcase, but what you can do here is on the import sets, you have schedule imports, right? So you can easily schedule an import. And when you schedule the import, you can select the data source that you want to run, right? And this one as well, uh, you can predefine the time and day, right? When you want to run this particular import, uh, here I have it on a daily basis at uh, 6, 10 p.m., right? So remember, in my case, I put that the flow should run at 6 p.m. to upload the file, correct? Then at 6, 10, it's going to run the import set, to run the data import of those users. And as you can see, it has been executed this amount of times right at 6 10 p.m on a daily basis so that's how you can do it um, of course there are a couple more improvements that you can do one of them is that after running or executing the data import then you can actually clean up the import set table because you don't want to maintain, uh, you know, a big amount of data in the import set table. So you can do on the flow, you can ex exactly put something else in order to, to clean up the import set table. As well, what you can do is to remove the attachment from the data source, right? Because you don't want that um, the PowerShell attach every on a daily basis a different file, and then you would end up having a bunch of files here attaching the data source. That's why you can improve in the flow and add another action to remove whatever file has been attached in the data source after importing the data. And how can you do on the flow, the execution of the import set? Um, I would recommend you to take a look into this execute now UI action. Take a look on the code and then you will see what's the script you need to write in the flow in order to execute this scheduled data import for users in my case but you can accommodate any, any sort of data you need to import into ServiceNow. Do the cleanup and just delete um, records, 
from the input set. And finally, as well, just delete the file that has been attached to the data source after everything is completed and loaded into the system. So this is what um, how easy you can uh, automate data import coming from a, a CSV file or an Excel file coming from a shared folder within the internet in your organization. So hope you enjoyed this episode and thanks for watching. Till the next time.